Kumo's former aide says embattled governor asked her to play strip poker and kissed her without permission and other news today on the Dum Dum News Channel. Hi everyone, I'm the Dum Dum and welcome to the Dum Dum News Channel. I want to say special thanks to all the viewers out there. Please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting that notification bell, whatever you can do to help independent content creators like myself keep growing. Okay, so in this other article, it says exclusive Hunter Biden was living with his brother's boo, Widow Haley, while sending raunchy texts and FaceTiming in the shower with her married sister as they declared their love and she called him her prince. So Hunter Biden is one of Joe Biden's sons and this guy is all over scandals. We've seen other scandals. I'm not going to get into it, but I wanted to bring that to your attention. Remember, all the source links are going to be in the description so you can read the entire article yourself. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo was recently nominated for an Emmy for the way he covered his oh, COVID pandemic thing. And I did a video about the cover up that he was involved in. This guy's just going from bad to worse. So if you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend you check it out. On the main article, it says Kumo's former aide says embattled governor asked her to play strip poker and kissed her without permission in post written in wake of nursing home COVID death scandal. Lindsay wrote about her experience working for Kumo Wednesday. She had already alleged in December last year that Kumo's abused his power. On Wednesday, Bowen said he asked her to play strip poker and kissed her. Kumo is under increasing pressure over his handling of COVID deaths in the state nursing homes. He has been accused of underreporting deaths. So I'm surprised that no one has said that he should resign or quit or whatever, which is usually the case. The article further says, he said of those allegations, on the tweets, I totally respect a woman's right, fought for a woman's right to express any concern, any issue that she might be have in the workplace i support that but the tweets were simply not true on wednesday bowen said i tried to excuse his behavior i told myself it's only words but that changed after one-on-one -on -one briefing with the governor to update him on economic and infrastructure projects we were in his new york city office on the third avenue as i got up to leave and walked toward the open door he stepped in front of me and kissed me on the lips i was in shock but i kept walking I had complained to friends that the governor would go out of his way to touch me on my lower back, arms, and legs. Cuomo's press secretary, Caitlin, issued a statement with it saying Bolin's latest allegations are false. Bolin also alleges his top female staffers normalized his behavior and that governor regularly sought her out. She said she was warned by others to be careful around the governor who she alleges called her Lisa, a reference to his rumored girlfriend at the time Lisa Shields. Cuomo is under increasing pressure over his handling of COVID-19 deaths in the state's nursing homes. He signed a March order that allowed nursing homes to accept COVID-19 patients back in their facilities. This is crazy that this woman out there is saying that he kissed her without her consent. So where is the big Me Too movement? Where are all the feminists out there? We, we need them to come in and step in and take over and get this guy canceled. Right guys? Anyways, what do you guys think? Leave your comments below. Subscribe to the channel. For the Dum Dum News channel, I'm Dum Dum. Let me reiterate our support for the release of the detained Chinese, excuse me, the detained in China, two Canadians, Michael Spavar and Michael Covering. Covering, excuse me. Human beings are not bartering chips.